Hey everybody, it's me, Doc here. I want to talk to you about a really cool application called Day One Journal, available for the Mac, the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Um, Day One Journal is a really cool journaling program that allows you to sort of take notes about yourself throughout the day. Um, you can also use it to track a project or just whenever you're having a writer's block, you sort of want to get a brain dump. Now, in my podcast on writing, uh, on the In My Skin A podcast, I have give uh, exact reasons why one would want to keep a journal. What's really hard is in the past, most people find out they just don't want to take time to write it out or they just don't know what to write. So I think journaling is the way to go. But for us guys, we just got to get over the fact that the diary was for girls. And so that's why they call it a journal and not a diary. Anyway, let's give you a quick look at the application. The application starts with a lock screen because I have a password here. So this way, you know, no one can look at your journal once you're, uh, when the application is closed or if your computer goes to sleep and it wakes up, you have to enter a password to get in. So I'll go ahead and enter a password. First thing you see when you open up is this list of entries that I've added for today. As you can see today, I was a little bit more active. Yesterday I wrote a post and what's kind of cool is it give you a uh, quick little preview of what your post is gonna look like right over here to the side. If I wanna add something to the journal, I have a couple of different ways. Um, I do have a quick journal entry panel, which is right here, which allows me to just type something. And I'll go ahead and say save, and that will show up in my journal. Now what's cool is if I go here and click on this particular entry, like I wanna see what that entry is all about, you see there's what I type, and the link is actually active and live. Um, now, outside of looking at the list view, you can look at a calendar view and it can it will show you sort of what you wrote throughout the days. So that's another cool way um, to sort of look at what you put in. Now, another quick entry is to just in the application, go ahead and press the plus sign. Now, when you get to this entry screen, let me go ahead and paste some text here. You'll notice that it's just a standard text file but it does have markdown and multi-markdown support. So that means you can format your text so that when you look at it, once it's been entered, you can sort of get a different view and you notice all that coding stuff is gone and my links are active. Um, it also supports some basic things like I can italicize this or um, I can bold things. So let's get a quick look at that. Let's go ahead and bold that and let's italicize that. If I press done, you look at it and it maintains my bold and italicize. What's really cool, if you notice, is up here on the export, it will export this as a raw text file or markdown. So you can get your things out of this journal if you wish. So that's pretty cool. Um, the star thing here allows me to make some favorites. So here's a, a thing I wrote. It was really just, you know, some of my favorite features for the application as it sits. And you can sort of look at. Um, when it was written, copy it to the clipboard. You can edit the date, export it, delete it, show where this is located in the finder. You still have access to your stuff. The other cool thing is it tells you how many words and how many characters. So in the longer post, it's really cool because it'll show you that, you know, your 429 words, I mean, 68 words, 429 characters. That sort of comes into play if you're doing your daily pages or your 750 words making sure you're writing three pages a day. If you are working on, say, improving your blogging or improving your writing, whether it be fiction or nonfiction, sort of doing your daily pages, uh, according to a lot of professional writers would tell you that's the way to sort of get it down. And that's where journaling comes from, in a sense, of free writing if you follow the practice of, say, Peter Elbow. If I go in the preferences here, you can see where I had the preview pop over on. I also can, that was the uh, quick entry icon up in the top and my shortcut there was uh, control shift D. You can tell it to check spelling and grammar if you wish. Um, I would say if you're brain dumping, don't get into spelling and grammar because it will slow you down. Just sort of type. As long as you can understand that later, you're good to go. You can always go back and edit. But normally when you're just brain dumping, you just want to type and get it out of your head. Um, using Dropbox Sync, it does have iCloud Sync or iCloud support. And you can adjust the fonts and you can also use the reminder system to remind you that you should put your entries in. Now, this is where you would set up your password and how you want to lock it. And then you can also set up your backup. Now, to lock your journal, you just press Control L. And I guess when you're out of there, I'm sorry, it's Command Shift L. You get right back in. Let's do that again. Command Shift L. Journal's locked. So if I were to swipe off this page and come back, you know, you're not getting in. 
So that's basically it for the Mac. Again, it's a really powerful app. It's uh, available in the App Store, and it's $9.99. But really beautiful app, well-designed, and it's super easy to use. And uh, I definitely say you want to give it a try. Now, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like on an iOS device. Okay, we're back for part two of this review, and I'm going to show you what day one looks like on the iPad here. First, you launch day one for the iPad. You're going to have to enter your password. The first thing we're going to want to look at is how to add an entry. You just go ahead and hit plus here, and you can simply just type away to add another entry. Um, and again, it does support links. So anything you want to copy or paste from your um, Safari or you know some other program that you're working in, it all totally works. So go ahead and press done. I'll look at my start items. And you can see I had some information in here about what I wanted to talk to you about for day one review. So that's there. Um, I can show you my entries by year, hit 2012, and there's my like calendar view. So what's neat is it does synchronize. So that one that I did on the uh, desktop app, it shows up right here in the uh, iOS app. Super simple. And again, you can look at it by calendar. And you can sort of see what you sort of wrote in on whatever day simply by clicking on the calendar and it gives you a basic preview so go ahead and hit the day and that'll show me what i added in today okay so that was some text that i popped in earlier now what's cool you hit over here on settings again you can see i have it set for dropbox sync i can also use icloud if i want and one thing to pay attention to if you press sync on launch it only syncs when you launch it doesn't sync as you're using it so that's good if you're on a limited data plan or something like this but i i'd rather leave it off so that it sort of syncs every time I'm entering things so that way my computer and my iPad my iPhone always match uh, there's your passcode you can say how fast you need to be required you can say how many reminders you want now if you want to add another reminder having nothing to do with anything you can add one there and I'll adjust the time so it remembers every day at about 10 p.m. I wanted to remind me to enter something in my journal in case I've forgotten but I can tell with this app I'd probably be adding stuff all day so I'll go ahead and go back to settings. Um, I have it set for markdown report support and also to auto bold the first line. So settings, nothing too crazy, but I do know, like I said before, they were going to enter some tags and some other things later on. But again, super simple app, very nice interface. And for the iOS devices, it's $199 and it's universal. So let me give you a chance to see what it looks like with the iPhone real quick. So here's day one. It's very simple. Again, everything looks exactly the same as it was. You have the entries that I added earlier. They're still here. They're still very editable, so you can go in and add things or remove things. It does have a neat little um, sort of move this menu bar out of the way view. And I believe it does have sideways support, which is very good. Or I should call it landscape support. Use proper terminology here. So I can go ahead and close that. I'll press done. Go back to all my entries. Look at the menu. Now, if I want to add an entry again real quick, all I have to do is tap on the plus sign and let's use uh, something that I have sort of built in using text expander. It does have full text expander support, which I absolutely love. So again, real easy to do. Um, some really cool stuff, like if you wanted to pop in a date. I love the fact that it have you know text expander support, so it makes it super easy to use. Um, you you know again, the interface is very simple. It's exactly like the iPad is universal, so everything is pretty much the same. But I absolutely love this app, and again, that's day one journal. The iOS version universal for the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch, that's $199. The desktop version is $999. And I'd like to thank you for checking out this review of Day One Journal. I hope you enjoyed it. Aloha.